Hello, everyone. I hope you're comfortably seated. I hope you're relaxed. You had time to grab a cup of coffee or tea before joining the room. Um, if not, you'll be able to have one later. Um, good morning. Um, I'm Léa Lacroix, a proud member of the Wikidata team at Wikimedia Germany. And I'm very, very excited to welcome you to this second Wikidata con. Thank you. So most of you already know me because um, I've been spamming you with a lot of emails recently. <laughs> and uh, I'm glad to tell you that um, in the next uh, 20 minutes, I will provide you with more um, practical information about the conference. But I hope that after this opening session, um, you will be able to know everything that you need to know about the conference. And you will have a great time here in this awesome venue that is Urania Berlin. I hope you will enjoy it. So let's go straight away with the most important things. Um, we have a photography policy. Um, two important things to know. People who wear an orange lanyard, they don't want to be taken in picture at all. They don't want to appear on any kind of uh, screen or device, uh, which means be especially careful to not take picture of these people. Um, and people wearing a regular lanyard, just like me, um, this is something that is maybe slightly different from the Wikimedia events that you know. But basically, the rule is, um, if you want to publish a picture of people uh, on comments or on social media, please make sure that you obtain the consent of the people before publishing it. So you can do that in different ways. You can ask beforehand, before taking the picture. It doesn't have to be out loud. You can just, I mean, if the person sees you taking a picture and start <laughs> behaving like this, it's probably that they consent to be taken in picture. Uh, people who are on stage during a session usually uh, agree with being taken in picture. And what you can also do is ask afterwards. You take the picture of people generally doing things and then you quickly go to them and you ask, is that okay if I publish this? This is really important because we want to be more careful about people's privacy. We probably don't need people of every single participant of the conference on comments. I think we have enough pictures of people typing on computers. So I will really ask you um, to follow this rule so everyone can feel comfortable at the conference. <coughs> so, another important part. Um, the um, conference, most of the content of the conference will be live streamed in this room and also in the two other sessions room, Kepler and Einstein. This is great because that allows people who are not participating to actually follow the content of the conference or being able to watch it afterwards. That's actually for you also if you are afraid of missing a session, you can watch it later. Uh, but that also means that people on stage will be uh, filmed and recording. And also uh, people, for example, walking uh, just in front of the stage uh, can be recorded as well. So if you really uh, don't want to appear on camera, actually the best spot is to be next to the camera or slightly behind the camera, depending on the room, because here you're pretty sure that you're not going to be filmed. Um, yeah. And in the room Kepler, uh, don't be surprised when you enter the room, it looks like the camera is filming the entrance. It's actually not. The camera is set up so it is not filming people entering. So you can enter the room, you can walk around, and you won't be uh, streaming. It's only focused on the speaker who is in this room. All right. So um, I wanted to have a quick overview of the building together because we didn't print a floor plan for everyone in order to avoid too much printing. And the venue is very nice, but it can be also, it, it takes a bit of time to just understand how it's working. So let's go through it very quickly. You arrive through um, the main entrance in where the registration is. This is also where you can come and ask any question. And there is also a... Um, uh, wardrobe here. If you want to let your valuables somewhere safe, it's the nice place to go. And um, this is also where the dining area, this is also where part of the catering will happen. Um, and if you want to take some fresh air or um, a cigarette, you can go out through the main entrance and also through what is mentioned here, emergency exists, which is the backyard of the venue uh, that you can access through the ground floor. Um, and you have various staircases that be careful of that, don't necessarily lead to all the floors in the venue, uh, but you will figure that out very soon. 
on the first floor where we are right now, these are the three main session rooms. Let's say the formal part of the program is taking, taking place here. This is also the dining area that we also call cafeteria sometimes. It's this place where we'll also be able to have lunch and dinner. Um, then on the second floor, um, this is the part where the self-organized part of the program takes place, which is also going to be very interesting. So in Edison, you have a hacking space where you can go uh, anytime during the opening hour and just sit down and work on some stuff. You're going to have the workshop room, Darwin, um, just next to it. And you're going to have this nice uh, Newton room that is really made for just relaxing, discussing, having all kind of informal uh, discussion. And you have an extra meetup room that is called Austin. Some stuff is already planned in there. Some stuff can still be planned. Um, feel free to walk around. There are also some posters. This is also where some exciting things are going to happen uh, tonight during the evening. So feel free to uh, make sure that you check the second floor. And finally, the third floor is not going to be widely used, but I wanted to mention that we have a quiet room in the venue where you can go and take a nap, take some rest, just escape a bit from the noise and a lot of social interaction. Um, so you can access it uh, through the stairs um, in the corner and you can reach the room uh, Curie, which is the quiet room. Um, this is also where um, tomorrow morning um, the yoga and meditation session will take place, but I will talk more about this in a minute. Um, please uh, mind that we have elevators, however, we want to make sure that they are available for people who really need it. Um, so if you are able to take the stairs, I would like um, to ask you to take the stairs. And at any time you can find the, the picture of these maps uh, at this URL map that we at .org. So. Um, you never, you never get lost. Also, if you're really lost, you can ask someone, especially people wearing green t-shirts like me, who can help you figure out your way in the venue. Um, so as I said, at the info desk, you can ask any question. You also have the lost and found box if necessary. You can get some stuff printed if you really need it. And uh, for the scholars, this is also where the reimbursement is going to happen. Beware, it's going to run until noon. After that, it's going to be more complicated. So if you have some stuff to get reimbursed, please do it soon. There is also a wardrobe that is open at the opening times of the venue. So feel free to leave your valuables there. Anything you don't need actually for the conference is very safe there. Just don't forget to take them back when you leave uh, on Saturday. Then, I'm not going to go through the whole schedule because you, if you already had a look at it, it's very full of a lot of interesting stuff. I just wanted to mention some, um, some important things. So today until 11, the things are going to take place only here. And after that, the room will, uh, one after the other, open. And the venue is open until midnight um, today. Tomorrow, uh, we open the doors at 8.30 and then the first session starts at 10, just like today. Um, at um, 2 p.m. Uh, we're going to have the group photo in the backyard of the venue. If everything goes right, you will get some reminders about this when the times come. The rooms will start closing at uh, 6.30 and then tomorrow the venue is closing at 8.30. Um, so make sure that you get everything you need uh, before that. So again, you can have a look at the program either on program.wikidatacon.org or mobile.wikidatacon.org for the awesome uh, mobile version that we have. Now, let's talk a bit about food, because that's important. Um, today and tomorrow we will offer you lunch and dinner. Um, it will take place between um, 1 and 2.30 um, in, um, on the ground floor in Anham Foyer and in the cafeteria dining area that I presented to you earlier, and the dinner between 6.30 and 20. Um, I'm really glad to tell you that we decided to have fully vegetarian meals for this edition of the conference. Um, of course, thank you. Um, of course, vegan version will be available, and we try to make sure that it's suitable for everyone. So, if you have any specific need, feel free to ask the staff there, and we'll make sure that you get something to eat. Um, you will also get something to drink. So of course, warm and cold drinks are available um, at any times, and we will also have some snack breaks. And as 
usual in the Wikimedia events, we have a sweets table. So if you ever brought some candies uh, from your home region, you can put them down there on the counter, basically, at the end of the counter, write down what's uh, in there, and also uh, try some interesting stuff that the other people brought. Now, apart from the formal program that is uh, taking place on this floor and that is getting streamed, we also have a lot of self-organized thing that is happening because I think the core of the conference is actually between the interaction with people and all the spontaneous or not so spontaneous meetups that are happening and people gathering around uh, topics that they all care about. So we have the hacking room for that that is going to be open as much as possible. There are tables there that have a number, so you can just sit down at the table at some point and tell other people, hey, I'm table number five and I'm working on, I don't know, um, importing data about um, this topic. Uh, please join. So for that, you can go to the, ta to the wiki page that is called self-organized session and you can just write down something here, explain where you are. You can advertise it also on the discussion channels like Telegram and make sure that people can join. The Newton room, uh, the discussion room that you will discover soon is also made for that purpose and you can also use the cafeteria when it's not uh, lunchtime. All right, now I wanted to present you quickly uh, the social events that we, uh, we have for you. So first of all, today is going to be um, the birthday uh, celebration. So of course, like any birthday celebration, um, we're going to have some cake um, at the dinner. And then we're going to have two very exciting sessions. We're going to have the birthday presents demo. Because I don't know if you know, but it's kind of a tradition in the Wikidata community. When it's Wikidata's birthday, um, people prepare some little presents. It can be a piece of code. It can be a new tool. But it can be also something non-development um, related. Um, so we're actually super excited to, uh, to present that to you. If you plan to present something, um, please uh, talk to Lydia, because she's going to be coordinating a bit everything that's happening there. And then, for the first time, we're going to have the Wikidatacon Award Ceremony. This is going to be very exciting. I think you should all be here because a lot of surprises will happen here. Um, some of the most enjoyed tools and projects in the Wikidata and Wikibase community have been selected and will be presented to you. I say no more. You will see. It's going to be awesome. And after that, tonight, um, they, we are offering you basically some space to just relax and network and discuss. There's going to be a nice light and sound installation here. Nothing too loud, so you can continue just having discussion and uh, yeah, talking to people. As for tomorrow, another experimentation that we have this year is um, the yoga uh, introduction and the guided meditation session. Basically, we are aware that this kind of event can be extremely uh, intense and uh, after a first day you already like your brain is so full of all the content, all the discussions that you had. So in order to relax a bit, we're offering you two options to just yeah, clear your mind before starting a new day of the conference. So both happen at the same time tomorrow at 8.45 on the third floor. You can choose either a yoga introduction, really easy, it's made for newcomers. Same for the guided meditation session. So feel free to come a few minutes before and uh, yeah, enjoy this time before you start the, the conference again. And finally, tomorrow we're going to have dinner here in the venue and after that we're going to go for a goodbye drink uh, at 8 in a venue that is called Alt Pumpe. Uh, it's a very, very nice place. Um, yeah. What? Mm, okay. Um, yeah. I, uh, actually, I will uh, give you more information about uh, where to go and stuff like this uh, during the closing session because you don't need to have all the details now, but it's also going to be a very nice moment. Um, so, we are... Um, 250 participants here at the conference for, from 46 different countries. That's super exciting. A lot of people interested in a lot of different topics. So um, we, would, we would love you to engage with participants as much as possible. We all have at least one common point is that we're interested uh, in Wikidata or Wikibase. So you can start discussion with that. That's, that's a good point. So we have a few discussion channels. We have, for example, a Telegram channel. 
you can use the hashtag uh, WikidataCon uh, and also Wikidata Birthday um, on social network. You can access the list of participants, add yourself if you're still not there, so people can find you by topic of interest, this kind of things. Um, and the best moment we should suggest you to engage with each other is actually during the breaks. We have a lot of breaks, lunch and dinners, the meetups, and so on. Also, you all received um, a little wallet uh, as a present for the participants. Um, feel free to yeah, collect some uh, business card or other uh, contact people from, from people that you meet during the conference. And since you also conveniently received um, a pen with the wallet, uh, I would like to suggest you to actually add your name on the back of the wallet. There is a space for that because since you're now 250 people having the same wallet in the room, <laughs> if, we f if I find a wallet on the table and there is no name, I have no clue who is that. So please do that before it's too late. All right. Um, we have, since we're all here interested in Wikidata and Wikibase, of course we want to talk to you about these topics. We want to gather your input on um, what should be the future of Wikidata and Wikibase. So in general, the whole event is actually made for that, but there are some specific sessions that can be interesting. We have a workshop today that is called Envisioning Wikidata in the Future. Um, it's a, it's a two-hour workshop, and I want to tell you right now, the idea of this workshop is that you attend to the whole two hours. So there is no, can I come only for the first hour or something like this? Uh, it's, a, it's an experience in itself, so you have to go there. It, it's, there are still some, uh, some space free, so feel free to just um, go to the room when you, when you arrive. Um, we also have a booth that is dedicated to user experience and my colleagues here will be there to talk with you about Wikidata feature, uh, features and all kind of other things. So feel free to uh, jump by, it's on the ground floor. You can also get some interviews about various uh, Wikidata features. And if you, talk, if you want to talk about anything related to Wikidata and Wikibase strategy, I have two colleagues here uh, who will be listening to you and very glad to talk to you. This is Lydia and Yelena. You can find them um, in the event, uh, during the event. Feel free to, feel free to reach her, them. Um, very, very shortly on Sunday, we're going to have some side events. If you want to join, this is not mandatory. This is open to everyone, including people who are not uh, registered to the conference. You can find them on the, on the page here. I just wanted to mention one thing that is important for people who are not from a European country. Um, during the night between Saturday and Sunday, we're going to have this uh, time change where basically the clock is going to go backward of one hour. So if you, have, if you want to attend to an event or if you have a flight or a transport to catch, beware of the new hour. Um, check your device and ask random people in the street if you don't know what time is it. <laughs> Feel free to do so. They don't know either. Or maybe they don't know either. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> quick note about documentation. We love documentation. Please help us documenting. It's very important. You have links to notepads in all the, um, on the wiki pages of the sessions. If you can still take a few notes when you are there. Um, also helping collecting the summaries of the session. It will be so, so useful for us. The, the link of the live stream, I already shared it on various networks, so feel free to share it for people who are outside this conference. And I put the hashtag and the comments category again. Um, okay, two important things. Don't forget to take care of other people. Try to be kind and supportive. Um, make sure you leave space for everyone to express their opinions and ideas. I also wanted to mention that since we are, we are um, a very diverse audience at this conference, and it's awesome. We have people from the editors of the community, we have people from institutions who just come and try to learn more about Wikidata. And since you all know a bit of Wikidata, you also know that it covers a very large amount of different skills, and maybe people don't have the same skills or the same knowledge as you. So try to embrace this diversity, be welcoming to people, and I'm pretty sure that you can always learn at least one thing from the person in front of you, so try to highlight that. And of course, don't forget to take care of yourself. Uh, we're gonna have plenty of water and food for you. Um, if you want to avoid the usual uh, post-conference flu, <laughs> I would suggest uh, that you try to watch your hands, get enough sleep, and get enough fresh air. 
Speaking about taking care of each other, we have a friendly space policy that uh, you all comply to by signing up to this event and we will um, ask you uh, yeah, to respect it. So we really want to have an event that, is, uh, that has no harassment or discrimination. So uh, we have here four different people who are part of the friendly space policy uh, reference that you can contact them anytime, anytime you can go to them. Amir, Lucy, uh, TPT and Rosalie. Um, and you can also uh, report an issue directly by email. So again, there is a link to the full page. It's on the wiki anyway. You can have a look. And really, if you feel uncomfortable at any time, feel free to talk to them. And finally, if you need any kind of help, uh, feel free to ask the organization team. That's us here. Feel free to ask the volunteers wearing this beautiful green t-shirt. And if you also want this beautiful green t-shirt, we actually need a few more volunteers. So if you're willing to help, feel free to come to me after this session. Um, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy this conference as much as we enjoy preparing it. Have a nice time. Thank you.